They, that's what they do to us when we throw the right hand. Oh, that left hook drops him. Wow. Halo sobat tinju dunia, jumpa kembali. Kali ini kita akan melihat kehebatan lima petarung talenta muda berbakat pendatang baru di kelas welter. Yang pertama, Jawir Rasulov, petarung asal Uzbekistan ini, memiliki catatan rekor sempurna. 5 pertandingan, 5 kemenangan KO. Yang kedua, ada Ruben Eduardo Aguilar, petarung muda 22 tahun asal Meksiko ini. Sudah memiliki rekor 20 pertandingan dengan 17 lawannya di pukul KO dan TKO. La izquierda y la derecha ha pasado de la derecha lo pone la derecha llevó la penitencia la más sí, impresionante la forma en que reaccionó ¡Oh, Dios, en la izquierda ¡Oh, y la derecha ¡Oh, y va con una puntería de Rubén Aguilar Fernando Rentería y el campanero indican acción con el audio ambiental y el sonido de la gente. Rubén, Rubén, Gabriel. Ahí está, lo conecta muy bien. La placer abajo, arriba y se va, se va, se va. Sí, se encorre un poco y ahí es donde la dinamita mira, fue el último. El último creo que es el que lo lleva a destino, el gancho de derecha, mira. Ahí está, uno, dos, ahí está. Ese gancho creo que es el que termina. Yang ketiga ada Delante Johnson alias Tiger. Sebagai amatir. Delante Johnson berhasil mendapatkan emas di kejuaraan remaja tahun 2016. Mengawali karir profesional di tahun 2021, Delante Johnson belum terkalahkan dalam 8 pertandingan. Tiger Johnson adalah penggemar berat Sukarai Robinson dan Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, he comes to fight. He's told us repeatedly, especially recently, and he, as we had that visit with him yesterday, he also mentioned Not that 940 pounds. He pulled him here. A lot of time to work with in round three. Right hand comes in. Oh, what a shot that was. It is over. The Tiger slashes and gashes. And the crew have in his talent to step him up already in his third fight. Oh, nice right hand. Count Sebastian Chavez coming in, and he drops him. Delayed reaction. Typically, we see left-handed fighters do that. That's what they, that's what they do to us <laughs> when we throw the right hand. Oh, that left hook drops him. Wow. Right here. Right hand on the shoulder. Chavez is looking for the left hook. No. Yang keempat, Stephen McKenna, alias pembunuh dari Irlandia. Stephen McKenna mengawali karir profesional di tahun 2019. Selama lebih dari tiga tahun, Stephen McKenna memenangkan 13 pertandingan. 12 lawannya berhasil di pukul KO dan TKO. And he's gonna maybe try and take out the disappointment on Kenna. Wants to make a name for himself, wants to get rid of these opponents, and again, that's a good right up a gut. Look at this, McKenna is so... McKenna targeting the body as well, but now Hook's reining in, and the referee surely has to step in, and maybe a little bit too late, he does. Yang kelima, Raul Kuril Garcia alas kucing besar. Raul Garcia Meksiko punya adalah sosok yang sering dianggap sebagai Canelo Alvarez di masa depan. 12 pertandingan 10 kemenangan KO. Raul Kuril Garcia terlihat memang sudah memiliki kekuatan pukulan KO yang sangat luar biasa. Victor. 
Raul Cougar Kruger. I would say they're they're quick position. And he sprung one upset against Nico Masias, and that tells me something because Masias, known as the rooster, is the quintessential pressure. Yeah, and that was a criticism I had of him in his, his earlier professional bouts. Oh, good combination by Ramos. Um, but sometimes the scorecards don't tell the story of the fight. It, it's not these aren't easy rounds for Curiel. He's having to work oh, very hard. Ooh, Ramos is down. At least a 10-8 round. Now. Amateur wins, including victories over Lamont Roach, Ted Cheeseman, Carlos Adames. Oh, and a body shot sends him down. What a beautiful body shot by Curry. This fight going much longer. Yeah. Curiel's having his way. It's just a matter of time, it looks like, before the referee. You, you just keep throwing punches. There's a towel. The towel had to come in because the referee wasn't stopping him. He didn't work properly, or he just came in heavy because he didn't get the proper training. Nice Bell. uppercut. Over there. And then he was complaining of the low blow. Listen, Edward Hernandez. Here comes a jab and nice overhand right from Raul Curiel. The body shot from Cantavius. And there it is. The left hook to the liver. And that Three. should do it. And those guys are in there to survive. They, they make it frustrating for you, huh? Oh, they do. They, they, they'll they push you back. Oh, get and a nice landed. uppercut. Yep. A body shot followed with an uppercut. Good shot landed. In the corner, referee's looking on. And that's it. Rudy Baragan jumps in. You want to see fighter. Talenta muda terbaik di kelas Walter. Jelas dipegang oleh Virgil Ortiz Jr. dan Jaron Ernis. Virgil Ortiz Jr. Pada pertandingan yang terakhir, berhasil pukul tahu Michael Markinson yang belum terkalahkan. He always has to be moving and pivoting. And look, it looks like McKinson's got some kind of lower leg issue. Yeah, he's throwing trying. the towel in the corner. The corner has the towel up. They're trying to stop the fight. Lawrence Gold, they're waving it off, and it's over. Virgil Ortiz. 19 pertandingan, 19 kemenangan KO. Jelas, Virgil Ortiz Jr. adalah monster KO yang sempurna. Sayang, di kelas welter sekarang benar-benar membosankan. Tak seperti daerah tahun 90 dan tahun 2000. Ryan Scarfoot dan Errol Spence Jr. Jelas Maestro Adu Jotos yang super berpengalaman dan sangat tangguh. Sangat beresiko buat Virgil Ortiz Jr. dan Charon Ennis. Di peringkat WBC, IPF dan WBO, Virgil Ortiz masih jauh untuk menjadi penantang wajib. Di peringkat WBA, Virgil Ortiz Jr. berada di peringkat ke-1. Dikabarkan, Ortiz Jr. akan melakukan pertandingan melawan Ayman Taz, juara pemilik sabuk WBA reguler. Sayang pertarungan Virgil Ortiz melawan Emantas juara yang belum terkalahkan, gagal terjadi. Kelas Welter, kini benar-benar menjadi divisi yang membosankan, setelah dikuasai oleh Errol Spence Jr. dan Terence Gunford. Mampukah Virgil Ortiz Jr. dan Jaron Ennis menggasar masa pemerintahan kuat Errol Spence Jr. dan Terence Gunford? Yo ke sobat tinju dunia, sekian dulu dari saya. Maaf kalau ada kata-kata yang salah. Salam tinju dunia.